So let's look at number three. So we have this 37 degrees here, and it's talking about angle DNC. From there, if that's 37, we know that if DNC is 37, arc DC is going to be 74. If arc DC is 74, we also can see that because this is an inscribed angle where this is the intercepted arc, we could also say that that is 37 as well. So if that's 37, that's 37, that's 74. We're not sure about these other ones yet. What we do know is that EC is actually a diameter. So if that's a diameter from here to here, we can actually say that the measure of arc EDC is equal to 180. And we can say that EDC is made up of ED and DC. So we can say the measure of ED plus measure of DC is equal to 180. We can also say that because we know what DC is, we can put in 74 in here. I'm just going to skip over writing the M's. I'm just going to say ED plus 74 equals 180. From there, I can subtract 74 from both sides to get ED. I'm going to end up with ED equals 106. So over here, I'm going to label that 106. If that right there is 106, then what other angles could I know? If I know that that's 106, my intercepted arc is ED, so my angle is actually going to be the one we're solving for, right? here right so right there if that's 106 we could divide that by 2 to get there because we know that arc ED the measure of arc ED times 1 half is equal to DCE Let's say angle DCE so if we know that ED is 106 times one half is equal to DCE and we could say 53 is equal to oops 53 is equal to DCE done 53 I know you didn't have multiple choice but it's 53 all right Hope that was useful. Uh, one of the main things you're going to find in multiple of these is that the, the missing piece of information is often going to be that this is a diameter, this is a diameter, and on the other side, no, uh, NL is a diameter, no diameter, no diameter. This RP is a diameter. And that's it. So that's an extra piece of information that should help you out.